Warning, the video you are about to watch features YouTube user Toon Critic Y2K. If you are unaware, this user is admitted to committing crimes that are, but not limited to, pedophilia. As a result, he will be cut out of new recordings, but he still remains in this one. If this will bother you, then that would be a good time to click off the video and wait for the condensed version that will come out after each session. While we are committed to entertainment, one of the goals of these videos is to raise further awareness of these allegations. We respectfully understand if hearing Toon will cause more distress than entertainment. For those who are interested, we implore you to pay close attention to Toon Critic Y2K's actions, as they can potentially provide valuable insight into the working of a mind like his and help one better protect themselves. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, not like to tell, but yeah, but we should be By here. Way, Something Amber doesn't get. We... Slight out of character. Have we the we the party who are the um, who have just arrived on the scene? Um, have we been pretty much updated on everything that has happened in the previous session? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, thanks. That depends that is... on how much you spoke with uh, Jalen. Oh no, Jalen and I were talking, but Jalen didn't tell me much. Oh, okay. Right. Anyway, I haven't really shared my side either, but I think Amber is not going to. Yeah. All right. Still feeling bitter about it. <laughs> All right, Ivan would be hey. Ivan would be the type that would tell the rest of the party everything that's been going on. Here Owen go. and Amber would be silently fuming. <laughs> Where is my there he is? I was gonna get upset. Oh, there we are. All right, so Amber, Jalarum, and Faithur and Lucid also walk in. I look oh. to Ivan and Owen. Uh, where's Simula? You can ask Ivan about that. She Ivan. Please don't hate me for this. She needed some time alone, and I felt we should have given it to her. You, Amber, leave it be. It's not worth. It's not worth losing your mind over. I'm sorry. Smoke is billowing from my nose right now. I'm sorry. That was arrogance and risk. Just call me. Call me too trusting. Call. Call me a person who just thought we could all be friends. I guess. Ugh, this is why I like you so much. Stop it! And I march over to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, senpai! That's <laughs> how so the barkeep looks at me. Like, boy trouble? You have no idea! She, 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 she very gently pu pushes an ale, a, 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 mug of, a mug of ale to you. On the house. Thank you. <laughs> Do we really want to have a Stop drunk it? dragon? Oh no! <laughs> Metagaming now. All right. We can assume that Ivan would be talkative enough to inform the rest of the party of everything we've been doing since we got split up. So we can assume that the rest of the party has been caught up on all the little intricate details. Mm -hmm. Yes. Please. Yes. Yay. Yeah. All right. So I gotta yes, I gotta put gotta put you all around the table because that's what's gonna that's probably what's gonna be happening. Thank you. Or are we all gonna play cards? Uh, <laughs> yeah! Are we gonna play Red Dragon in? No. Stop it! Stop no. it! Uh, actually, I wanted to. No, I was gonna say I was gonna talk to Cross like, hey, well, why don't we go over to the uh, bar? Why don't we go over to the bar? Uh, we haven't we haven't really talked in a while. Hard uh, heart. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I I also it's uh, Simula walks in. Uh, oh. Hello. Oh, good, she's okay. Oh, you having a oh you having a group meeting without me? I thought I was part of the group. Uh, I off I I move move aside and offer my offer my chair. Simula? Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Just being caught up. Uh, uh, yes. Hey, Simula, you f you feeling okay? Uh, I feel. Oh, well, we just want actually, to yeah, up. okay, yeah. This this would actually work better talking with Jalen first, then setting up the. Ooh, okay, yes, yes. That's actually be a perfect segue. Okay. <laughs> Too much role playing we have to do. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is very RP heavy. Thing. I said I said this was gonna be an RP heavy session. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I'm loving it. I love. Uh, hi. Um. Two, uh, two of your finest golden nails. Well, at least you asked me for a drink this time. All right. <laughs> wow. I'm not saying it. I'm Thank not you. saying it. I am terrible. You guys are horrible influence on me. I'm going to point that out now. Back to the game. That's safe for Blissy. That's safe right. for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, th uh, thank you. I uh, leave a three gold piece tip for her. All so. right. She, she, thank you very much. Uh, Okay, so let me just. So, okay, so let's two. I'll pay and I'll pay for the rest uh, when we say how much it is. Uh, so, uh, Cross, I don't think we ever actually the longest time. 
Oh no, we've just been on opposite sides of the world, battling, oh, what was it I heard? Something about a T-Rex on your side, uh, uh, Frostwind Virago on our side, yeah. having to deal with the Chimera, having to deal with some ancient mummy or whatever. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a, that's a story and a half. Uh, yeah. I'm aware. So, um, what's, what's, been, what's been on your mind lately? <sighs> you want the long version or you want the short version? Uh, just go abridged. I've had to do things recently, things that I'm not especially proud of. Then again, that's par for the course for me. Wow. My half of the party, uh, either A, doesn't trust me, B, thinks I'm a traitor, or C, probably wants to rip my throat out. Mm. I've had to take steps. Steps in a direction that I feel is necessary for me and will be necessary for the party, but I don't think they understand that. Well, few that don't. Few that do, but don't like that. Wish it was yeah. easier. Wish I was e easier when I was... It was so much easier back then. It was so much easier when I just had those who would listen to me and would not question me. You know, I don't think you've ever talked about your uh, your little battalion. What were they like? The best family I think that I ever had, aside from my own parents, who really didn't seem to care that much. My family was my crew. Let's see. It's been a while since I've thought about them, but... <sighs> they were all good people. They were all good people that I didn't choose. They chose me. I didn't have to recruit them. They found their own reasons to join me. Dorakis, Loro, Lathara, Sildi, and Serenity, my huh. wife. Quiet, oh, Claire. Ooh. Ah, group of. Oh, wow. That actually. Uh, Look, there are two kingdoms I can go with. But that's that's interesting because I also had a group of five, including myself. Bro, oh, uh, did you have a squadron of sorts? Um, brigade. A uh, dishonor brigade. That's what we called ourselves. Cute. Uh, yeah, we were uh, a group. We made money doing jobs no average humanoid would do. Espionage, bounty hunting. We did the gr we did the dirty work. We did the good dirty work for Gatlin Sound. Mm. Sounds like uh, a bit of a suicide squad. Uh, not necessarily. Well, <laughs> not exactly. But uh, there was a bunch of us. We had. Uh, it was part. Of, uh, let me think about. Actually, you met one of them already. Did I? Yeah. He was in Gatlin Sound. You purchased arrows from him. Ah, yes, the blacksmith. Yep, Waltzum Tomo. Although, well, Waltzum, we called him Waltzum. His actual real name is Richard. Uh, let's see, who else was there? Uh, there is Sylvester Volante. He was a monk. Razorclaw monk, actually. Sh uh, uh, there was Benjamin Weistrack. He was a halfling sorcerer. He basically made all the tinkerings and gadgets for us. Then a uh, one Murphy Reshke, a half orc barbarian. He was our uh, not too bright, but he could pack a wall up with his great club. Well, I think that's what you can expect from a half orc. Yeah, well, each one of us had like our own quirks. Like, oh my gosh, I remember like one of my favorite quest of, uh, of ours was well, you remember how pleasant Gatlas Town was when you first arrived? Let me guess, it wasn't always that pleasant. Oh no, Gatlas Town was. Anything but. Even though my mom, well, even though my mom brought pros prosperity to the town by uh, pilfering half of Directing's uh, wealth, others saw that opportunity to reap the rewards. One Lord Albus Windbreath was the absolute worst ruler I've ever come across. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. he was wor To be perfectly honest, he's worse than Simula. His guards were a nightmare. Like, you get in trouble with the quote-unquote law for simply looking at a soldier funny. Ugh, that was nothing compared to the inflation. Windbreath taxed the town for pretty much anything. Alcohol, food, protection, clothing, potions, property, breathing. No, really, there was a tax for breathing if you ever entered the same space as you. Yeah, I could actually imagine that. People who so, have that kind of power would put over their whatever laws they wanted. Yeah, so as a... Uh, Opportunity of my to take to uh, top my mother's accomplishments, the Dishonor Brigade managed to appeal for about oh seventy five percent of the corrupt ward's tax surplus. Oh, yeah, that that would be about. Let's see, that was about three years ago before I met you. So, given the given the chain of gold, pe and gold inflation, that would be about oh fifty million gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm sorry, fifty million. Oh That's yeah. That that's that's no small bargain there. That's that's not a. Whew, I don't yep. think we've ever gone after something like that. I don't think we've ever made that much altogether. Nope. 
Oh, I was so like the, the, the five of us were so proud of, of what we did. And uh, and like two years later, we performed a hit on two years later. We ended up performing a hit on the guy on on uh, on wind breath because of uh, because of illegal uh, imprisonment. I took in the I I basically did I did the uh, the I did the killing blow. Ah, that sounds like you. Oh, it felt so good, and we managed to put in a new a new lady who I don't think we actually met. Her name is a. Uh, uh, Roselia Alpenwhisper. She's the the lady uh, in charge of uh, of Gatlestown now. <sighs> Man, I haven't seen these guys in the longest. I mean, Walter runs the blacksmith. Benjamin and his wife Penny are actually own the town store, although I don't think we I saw them. Mm. Murphy's on night watch, working for the tavern. I haven't seen Sylvester in years. Uh, rumor has it he settled down with a son elf, and now he has two kids. No idea where. And you know where I am. Uh, as I do, I I, fi I finished my uh, my first pint. Mm. So, um... I just chug mine down, like, at once. <laughs> uh, Dot, Josh, do we have to do anything? Or, uh, just uh, drinking? <laughs> we, just our, we just finished our drink. Shall we, uh, uh are we completely uh, buzzed? One okay, one drink isn't gonna, one drink isn't gonna make you tipsy. Alrighty. Uh, all right, I lean over. Another round on me, please. Uh, th thank you. Oh, boy. Uh, I so, um... At least, at least you have the luxury of being able to see them. Uh, yeah, whenever I could. What? I know this is a little prodding of me, but what happened? <clears throat> there was... He got, Cross kind of looks like he's reliving sort of what happened, and there's just this this, this blank look on his face at first. Um, hey, if, it, if it's too much, you don't have to... No, no, I... I feel that's a story I should tell everyone. So, uh, but I can tell you at least that our team... <laughs> well, my team, I should say... Uh, there was... You remember back in the Labyrinth, right? Where I was yeah. so adamant about trying to find a way to clear the guy's name and put, uh, bring prosperity back to the town? Yeah. That wasn't the first time I had to do something like that. Oh, well, I remember a couple years ago, my team and I, we were going after this rogue. It was uh, an orc. Orc rogue by the name of Praxo. He was, uh, he was a serial killer. Jeez. And... He had a way to shapeshift and blend in with villages, kill people, take their spots, mostly going after money. And we'd, we finally caught him, but we ended up doing so in the middle of a festival. And in the process, we ended up wrecking the place. We caught him. Uh, unfortunately, ended up killing him, but that wasn't our fault. And we were ready to leave. In fact, Dor Dorakis was adamant on leaving. He did not want to be around because he did not want to incur the wrath of the, the townsfolk. Uh, Luro, though, Luro was serious about wanting to try and fix it, and it was the first time I had seen those two really argue. Uh, yeah. Luro, uh, <laughs> they, Luro and Darkus had some marital issues, I will say that much. Sort of what Serenity and I kind of just laughed at. Oh. But we ended up putting the town back together, and we even performed in the festival. And it just made me realize that when it comes to everything the bigger picture is the most important thing it isn't just about the day the time the place just the one singular moment because for those that one singular moment could be the greatest moment of their life for me that was my wedding for oh. them it was their it was their everything it was their festival it was their time to enjoy everything that that was the last mission that we ever had before <sighs> I need to. to tell them. I, I think it's time I tell them. All right. Well, Cross. Before we do, I, I noticed the the bow you have is different from your normal one. Yep. Simulate uh, gave it to me. Is there anything you want to tell about why you think why you think Simula can help? I think maybe it's my fatherly instincts, or maybe it's the fact that I see so much of the past in this situation that things just seem to be lining up. It's like deja vu. It's just There's just some part of me that thinks there is a way to fix this. There is some way to get through to her. I can feel it. I've I've made some connection. I can't tell what it is, but it's something. It's like I've thrown a rope into that darkness and something is tugging on it. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I have something. I have some lead. But in the process of me doing this, uh, like I mentioned before, it seems that it's caused a fracture. Mm. It's 
It's making me go down a path that yeah, I'm all too familiar with. A part of me wants to go down this path. If I do, I don't know what's going to happen. The fact that I've already been down this path and I've been through all of this when I was the Black Arrow, it's... I feel like I'm relapsing. I feel like I'm going back into old habits. Those never really died. Or maybe, maybe I never really left. Maybe I never really hung up the cloak. Maybe that was just an outfit, not a mentality. You know, you're not the only one that's going through uh, some demons at the moment. You know, I told Amber this. There is an option for myself to become quite a formidable foe in battle. I could hide in plain sight, become resistant to poison. I could incapacitate opponents or insta-kill them. But if I do, I break my promise to Rose, to Jaminia. As I can't as much as I want to. I'm 95% there, and I can't perform the final act. If I perform that last requirement, I cannot go back to who I am now. A tear starts to fall from Jalram's eye. I would have to kill for the sake of only to become an assassin. It's the toughest decision of my entire life. Even tougher than throwing my dad's offer right back in his condescending face. You have a choice. I didn't. I'm already far, far past that point. Don't make the same mistake that I did. Because I know it's tempting. I know it's right there. It's like right in front of you. It's calling to you. I know what that's like. Don't do this. I'd rather not have someone end up like me. If I could stop that, I would. But I can't control you or your... Uh... Just promise me to weigh your option. I don't want to see anyone I care about hurt. Because we put we put our needs before the team. It's tough. It's, it's beyond tough to try and debate what is the right answer because sometimes the right the the best answer is not the right answer or sometimes the wrong answer isn't the wrong answer it's, it's, there's there's like moral gray area that's where i've lived in for years now it's hard for me to distinguish exactly what is black or white it's, anymore. It's, well I'm glad this you know i'm just kind of glad we have this conversation one captain to another oh not well didn't really say well Actually, I wasn't actually a captain. There was no leader. We were just... Uh, one friends. figurative captain to another. Yeah. All right. I would uh, consider you a captain. Drink and, uh, pay the barkeep. How much do I owe? Uh, how, much do, how much do I owe uh, the barkeep for the for the drinks? Uh, just a, uh, five gold. Okay. I'll, add, I'll subtract another five, so that'll be a three... Eight. All right. Uh, <laughs> as I walk away... Uh, Oh my goodness! You, know, you, look, you, you look to your right and you see that Amber has down has already down five mugs and she is. Oh drunk. lord! Oh, good gravy. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, oh we'll, boy, this will make this will make the story this story very interesting. And um, uh, I'll get yeah, I'll I'll get Owen help out. But um, I it. no, I, I got it. Rohan, I'll take her. <laughs> All right. Well, just so you know. Take my dragon, please. I, I just saying uh, I, as I, I turn across. Just so you know. It doesn't take a magic bow, magic ring, or even a wizard's hat to know you belong in this group. I got that reference. <sighs> Alright. Uh, oh, I, oh, oh. <laughs> um, I walk over to him and I was like, uh, I think we're going to need a little help <laughs> with Amber. She's uh, kind of plastered. Alright. <laughs> I, <sit, laughs> I sit back down between Jemania and Simula. I don't think Ivan has the thematically appropriate capacity to carry don't. Amber. I yeah. do not need carrying. I am fully capable of walking out myself. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we can at least help you. That, I don't touch you me. can flop her onto Shiloh. We can drag her back up to the room. I can, I can transform and walk on all fours. Makes you feel better. Uh, Jaminia, Jaminia walks up. Jaminia walks over to Faithur and mind if I sit? Okay. I mean, I'm bigger than you. You can't pick me up. But I can try. Well, I could make myself bigger than you and pick you up. <laughs> it's not a challenge, little dwarf. Oh my goodness. Woman, I will create water over your head in about two seconds. Get on the freaking <laughs> dog. We're going to bed. He's so tiny, Rose. Look at him. <laughs> yes, quite amusing. <laughs> Uh, okay, right, so right. between several of us, we are taking Amber up to her room. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a baby. <laughs> I fire. can freeze fire. 
Whoa, where are we going? Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't worry, we're taking you. Right. Mm. They're, being, they're being good friends. Well, they're being good friends where we're going. That's right, Jaminia shouts after you. Make sure you lay her on her side in case she throws up. I know, I know. I'm a dragon, I can handle my will. Oh. Actually, you know, actually, Simula, I don't think we ever had an actual chance to talk. <sighs> Well, first, up, first we want to do a. I'm gonna do a conversation here. Okay, go ahead. I figured that we were focusing on Faye and Jaminia first. There we go. Yeah. That's. Uh... Okay. You re you find anything interesting? I'm just reading some more into the grimoire. Find anything interesting? Just a couple spells. I might. There's one I might actually be able to do. So, that's nice. Uh, I do want to talk to you about something. We're talking. What you said earlier about saving me. You weren't talking about healing, were you? No. No, I wasn't. Hmm. She, she rests her head on her hands and tilts her head as, she, as if she's waiting for you. I... When Heronius gave me this book, do you remember what he said? Not... Not exactly, but I know the basic gist. That there's nothing he can do to avert your fate, but that your friends can. Yes. There's a, there is a spell in this book that I, um, and she just, she looks up at Jaminia and just stops. Nothing. It's like, uh, Jaminia holds her arms. I remember it was you who got the angriest at me hiding something. I know. And are you going to do the exact same thing? Because we all know how that little that little venture ended up. I just <sighs> There's a spell in here that might be able to free you from your ties to the abyss. She she widens her eyes. I believe I misheard you. What she... did you say? I'm going to show her the the grimoire. All right. She looks at it. She looks at it, and after a couple minutes of looking at it, she puts her hand to her mouth. I... Uh, I, I, I see. Hmm. Yeah, you are wrong about one thing. It's... It's not that... I'm not tied to the Abyss. I'm tied to the Nine Hells, so... But even so... This... Hmm. It's... It's a very powerful spell, and... There, there are a lot of caveats here. Yes, there are. And one in particular that I don't think I'll be able to cast this spell, no matter how much I want to. Hmm. And why is that? It, I am... Um, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No, no, tell me. No, I... I sh shouldn't have gotten your hopes up, I'm sorry. And and I'm going to have Faye run out of the tavern. Faye! Well, whoa, whoa, what, what just happened? Huh? I... Hey. Um, similar conversation. Maybe have to put on hold. Hang on, I gotta go after her. All right, I'm. Uh, All I'm right, going I'm going after her. Oh dear. Okay. The party is fractured okay. enough as it is. <laughs> we are barely hanging on here by a thread. One second. I look to. Uh, I guess I look to Simula. How are you holding up? I'm holding. I'm not. I'm not collapsing. That's good. That's something. Are there new cravings recently? These are always. Oh fun. no, just. Oh no, ju just the s oh no, just usually the same things, <sighs> and yeah, just the usual morning sickness, usual usual cravings. Well, at least you're, you're doing all right, which is good, I guess. All right, being the operative. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, my wife used to have. What was it? Every morning she would. Every morning, without question, she would demand fish. Doesn't doesn't matter what kind of fish it would be. Just fish every morning, and I and she she told me like I think a month before she a month before that she told me that she that when this was all over she would never want to have fish again because she could not stand it even though her stomach was demanding it. <laughs> and I'm eating chocolate. Well, pregnancy hits us all differently. I'm a it's a, I'm a, of course you know me I'm a tiefling and we don't get pre honestly we don't get pregnant that often. Usually right. we die before that happens. It's a, a very rare occurrence, but I hope that I hope that when this is over, that your child 
given this, even despite the circumstances of this happening, you still care for that child. Yeah. Right. Okay, gotta have one more conversation. Okay. And that's going to be... Oh boy. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. I guess we'll save that question for another day. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up over the you, you drunk dragon. <laughs> All right. This is my bottle too, so it's perfect. Bottle on the <laughs> What are you doing? Faye's staring out at the water. She and she it, is really, really upset. Faye, what happened? Right. I shouldn't have told her. Told her what? What, ha- what? What's going on? When you asked me if I was upset over something in the grimoire, you were—you couldn't have been more right. I there. There's a spell in here that Harmonious entrusted to me. Sanctify the wicked. It might be able. It might be able to free Jaminia from. Her fate to fall in the, into the abyss when she dies. I, uh, I, I'm process, uh, Jalrum's process this. I, this, this, this solely because of her tiefling bloodline? Yes. Like what happened at the well. So this is what Heronius meant when the time is, when the time is right, essentially? I'm going to show him the spell. Okay. Alright. Give me one second. Alright, thankfully I can't cast anything. <laughs> Outside of a magic wand. <laughs> It's in your journal. It's under the uh, books and papers folder. Okay, one more word to you. Thank you. Okay, uh... The, the, the... Oh, it's thank you. The... Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh... Gee, it's a powerful spell. Very. <laughs> <laughs> he entrusted this to me. Why? Why would he give this task to me, of all people? Maybe because you're the smartest one of our party. Smarts have, have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Read what it says, Jalrim. It can okay. only be cast by a being of pure heart. <laughs> he had he's he entrusted me, me to cast a spell that you need a pure heart for. I never thought I would think of God a fool, but he entrusted this to me. Maybe he does see purity in you. <laughs> a pure heart. Someone like me. <laughs> I, I am anything but a pure heart, Jalarim. Anything but. I am a wretched, twisted woman. I. The things that I have done in my life, without, without regret, without remorse, without a moment's hesitation. <laughs> and even now, I look back on those memories and I don't regret any of it. Someone like me is supposed to be able to save someone like her. Someone who I owe everything to. Do you remember what I was like when we first met? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fairly sure Lucid knows. I didn't respond. I didn't... I barely felt. I didn't even care about anything. I didn't even respond when the warden slapped me across the face. Do you remember that? Yeah. I had to shut myself down entirely to be able to live with myself and to be able to protect myself from how I felt. (laughs) I hate myself more than any other being in this world, Jalarim. And I know that I am not a good person. And I'm supposed to be able to cast this spell. I'm supposed to be able to... My heart, my twisted, my twisted, broken, demented itself, it's supposed to be, is going to be the barrier between Jaminia and the, and the fate that she truly deserves. I, I go up and hug Fair Theron. It's going to be all right. How's it ever going to be all right? Well, have you met our party? We always find a way around this. <laughs> That's not how it works with spells. A spell like this, you need a pure heart to be able to cast! What am I supposed to do? To give the spell to Simula? You think she'll be able to do something about it? I... I I don't know. I shouldn't have said anything to her. Now she knows about the spell, and I can't even tell her why I won't be able to cast it. 
Uh, Jalaram, roll a listen check. Okay. Uh, we gotta get my stats page up. Uh... Oh, nat 20, good. Wow! Oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Wow. You, you hear sobbing coming from behind you. Oh, who's listening in? I have only one guess. Oh no, is it Jim? Where is she? There it is. <gasps> Hi. Jiminya. Oh no. Oh shit. Jim. I know I'm. I know I, I claim myself to be the voice of reason of this group. Ha! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> but, <laughs> but, That's all, folks. But I think you know. I think you know what. You probably heard. Everything that Faye said, and uh, I'm not sure this is going to be. This is like this. This puts like everything in perspective. Everything in perspective, like what everyone's going through, crosses demons, mine, Faye's. I, I wish, like, I knew what to do in this situation. But someone who's, how do we determine? Like, how does one determine? How does Heronius determine if one is pure of heart? I I'm. I'm clearly I'm at a loss here. Like I don't I don't pray to Erroneous. Hell, I bar hell I barely pray to Aravin. Jiminya looks down. This sort of thing is something that is best answered by him via a pilgrimage. So do you? If, think if I know her, if I if I if I know my God, he would ask he would ask any who would follow him to perform some sort of great act in his name, do something that he stands for. But I don't then... worship Heronius. I don't follow Heronius. Well, if it's just... Well, if it's law and justice, right? Or something like yes. that? Yes. He is a god of righteous war. You know so well... I do... I, I've gone on this sort of pilgrimage before, and I do know one thing. People can change. For that, you can be tainted by your past, and even your ancestry, but people care about f just because you are tempted with bad thoughts, just because you have evil thoughts, it doesn't mean you did something wrong. I live with these thoughts every day, and would you call me an evil person? No. Not for an instant. And I heard what you said about you hating yourself for having bad thoughts. So why do you not give yourself the same courtesy that you give me? It's not for my thoughts. It's for my. It's for the way I've lived. So, I'm a believer in redemption. Just you cannot. People can. People can change. That's a. That's a. I've seen. I've seen criminals, after a after an, a near life sentence, gone on to be the most charitable people imaginable. I've seen paragons of virtue fall and become corrupt. Fall and become corrupted by money and pleasure. Anyone can be good. Anyone is capable of great good, and anyone is capable of great evil. <laughs> what about someone who has never been either? Someone like me, who always walks in the middle because she doesn't know where she stands. She doesn't know who or what she even is. <laughs> Jim Jiminia places her hand on her shoulder. Maybe you just need someone to show you the right way. You can't do it. It's not everything can be found in a book. Sometimes you need people around you to point you in the right direction. Would you say that people are flawed? People are hopeless? I would say that people are stupid, but they can become smart. Exactly. And the thing is, is that there are people, there are beings above us who know, who know what the right path is. And we need to, and we need to listen to them because we are, because we are the ones who make the mistakes. They are not. <laughs> he gave you that spell for a reason. For the life, for the life of me, I can't figure it out. But it's not my job to figure that that out. It's my job to trust. Faerthorn turns and stares back out at the water again. Don't stare too much. We do need. A, we do have an early morning. Mm-hmm. Dominia turns to go away, but then stops. Oh, by the way, what I remember what I came out here for. I've been thinking about the spell, and I do want you to promise me something. Hmm? It's going to, it's going, and please don't yell at, please don't yell at me for this, please don't hate me for this. 
but this still needs to be said. Should you get all of the requirements, should we find a diamond, should you purify your heart, I want you to use the spell on my sister first. Okay. Uh, I, I perk up at that. Do you think that's what it meant by, by what the Lord, Mommy Lord said when the she doubles turn? That's exactly what he meant. I knew it as soon as as soon as you relayed his words. It's that is. Th here's the thing. I I will be all right for a while, but Simula, you've she's lived a life without ever tr being able to feel love, and for the life of me, I cannot comprehend such an existence. I believe that she needs it more than I do. <laughs> um. I hold, I hold, um, I sn uh, should I roll sleight of hand so I, so I, so I can hold hers? Mm -hmm. No, you can just do it. You can just do uh, it. Uh, I, I, I hold Faithurin's hand and, uh, the, I, I, just, I, just, I just hold her hand and hope, hopefully she notices. She, <clears throat> no, she does notice, but she doesn't really respond. Can you promise me that, Faye? I promise. J Jiminya smiles and gives her a hug. You're on the right track. It's going to take a bit of work, but we can do this. She, she goes back in. I'm coming back down. I'm coming back down in 20 minutes. <clears throat> if you sit, if I if I still see you here, there's going to be words. I'm older than you. I think I am too, but that's beside the point. No, Jiminy has a tendency to lie about her age. <clears throat> I suggest we go inside. It's, it's the, at least we can do. Pro like as, as I as, as I I'm still holding it. Everything's going to be fine. We will find a way. I want to go home. Have just some rest for now. All right. All right. I, um, I lead, uh, uh, Jalorm leads her in. All uh, right. Her in. All right. So you all go inside and you all go to sleep. Worst words we ever want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh, what the? Oh, hold on a second. Wellity, wellity, wellity. Looks like we're not done. Oh dear. Cross, you find yourself upon a throne in a magnificent palace. What a miss. You are dressed in casual undergarments, but they are clean and pristine. Behind uh. you is more treasure than you've ever seen in your life, and Jalen, who has tripled in size. Is it yeah, in, front you, in front of you is a display case. What do you do? What? What? Where am I? What? Okay, either I'm dreaming or this is... No. Why does this not feel like a dream? Uh, I slowly stand up and go to the display case. That is so big. You look, big you, you look in there and you see, and you see a longbow. It's uh, what this longbow does is that it increases your attack rolls by fifteen, and and it also has the explosion effect on it. I pause for a moment and start looking around. Then I turn around to see Jayla and almost jump. She... <sighs> okay. Snake girl, sports are, uh, snake girl sports are a thing, and that is a lot of oh, That is... <sighs> okay. Um, I turn back and slowly open the case and take the bow out. Yeah. You also see your armor in there. And Why this armor actually... And it's also your armor, and this armor, it boosts your armor class to 35. What is all this stuff doing here? I paused before slowly taking everything out and putting everything on. <sighs> Comfy. Surprised it fits. But what is it even doing here? And what, what is this place? Okay, shiver down my back. That's probably not a good sign either. You see, someone, you see, you see, you see someone walk in. Walk in. Huh? Oh boy. Ah. Hmm? You see it. You see her. You see her stroll up, sashaying her hips as she does. Uh. Mm -hmm. Is that you, Simula? She walks up and gives you a peck on the cheek. Uh, uh, we won. We, we did? I gave you what you wanted, and you gave me what I wanted. We got back to Directian. We defeated Arkoth. Sure, your friends hate you, but all of them, including others you care about, are safe, Cross. They're all safe. Would you like to see it? Would you like to see your accomplishments? Um... Y yes, I would. Why does this, why does this feel second. so real? Was all of that just a, a dream? Was everything just... I'm scared. This is fascinating, though. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. 
Hold on a second. Where where is the huh? to, to bottom, the bottom, right. bottom right? There we go. I see it. Bottom bottom right. Oh, where are we? All right. You look, you look down right next to you and you see and you see Shiloh in armor and sitting very politely. Nice nice armor. Uh, I go over and lightly pet Shiloh's head. He doesn't respond. He doesn't respond. What are you doing down here? A guard dog, I guess, of the establishment. Okay, something is very, very off. I can't put my finger on it, but something. But he follows Simula. Simula, anyway. Simula, Simula beckons you. Uh, all right. Where is everyone? You pass by. You pass. You you pass by Rose. Huh? You notice Rose? that Sh- you, you notice that Shyla. You notice that Shilo is growling at her. And oh. over her cell is and over her cell is the head of a minotaur. Oof. What the uh, Rose, wh- where did you She tur- she turns her head to look away from you. You walk up. Owen, you see that he is undergoing the water torture. Oh jeez. What is <gasps> over his cell is the coat of the Frostwind Virago. To the left, you see Jalarum. His fingers are broken, and over his cell is black-colored wood. To your right, you see Ivan. His mouth is sewn shut, and his lute is broken. Over over his cell are a pair of dragon claws. <coughs> to your left, you see Fair Thurin, trapped in an anti-magic glyph, as well as Lucid. Over her cell is the tusk of the Nightmare Beast. To the right <laughs> is Amber. You see that she is starved and a very familiar collar is around her neck. Over her cell is, the, is a petrified tentacle of a kraken. This is... This isn't safe. This is... Simula, what is this? You wanted them to be safe, but there was one particular problem. They tried to stop you from helping them to be safe, so you had to stop them. You took a risk because you had to. They couldn't be trusted to do the right thing or the smart thing. You knew what was best, didn't you? You knew it had to be done. What about? Hang on a sec. I look over at Lucid. What? What happened to Lucid? Oh, he's fine. Just a just a very gilded cage for for a very pretty bird. They walk by Jaminia. She her, she's bound in she's bound in chains and is glaring at you in hatred. Over her cell is the head of Star J. <gasps> Bloody horse wouldn't cooperate. We're entering Stephen King levels over here. Cross is kind of just silently taking all this in, but he's in a state of shock in the process. Oh. And now for your greatest triumph. That's that, that that's the warden. You see Arkith Wormwood chained to a wall, and you hear soft whimpering. Doesn't it feel amazing being on top, the dominance, the freedom to make all of the decisions that enter your whims? I know I do. He's not dead. Why is he not dead? Oh, I figured that we should wait for it. I just wanted you to see something first. (laughs) Behind the warden is a blasted landscape overwhelmed by fire. Giant hulking creatures, misshapen and coated in flame, prowl across the landscape, engulfing anything their incomprehensible forms touch. What are they doing here? I thought we I thought our plan was to stop them from invading the slam. She looks to you and said, This was the plan from the beginning. Did you not listen? She pulls out the demon vein sword and hands it to End him. We no longer have any use for him. I, no, this 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 isn't right. He 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 should be he should be down there with the rest, just suffering with the rest of them. He should you can see you can see Cross clenching onto the sword though. You've gone this far and hurt all of your friends. Are you showing mercy to an enemy? That wasn't... I, that wasn't me, though. I, I, I'm i not this... I, I, I can't be this person. I. This is everything that I hated about myself. I, I can't be this. Are you backing out? No, I... Uh, walk right up to him and stop. Look at me. The, the, the warden looks up and he... Lo- and you can feel fear emanating off the warden. So much for your stupid plan, huh? You did all this, you did all this one big entire game, but you weren't expecting... You weren't expecting it to end like this, were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel like this... 
like the warden has been broken, like emotionally. He's just it's just kind of whimpering and babbling at this point. Your punishment should be worse than any death, than any creature, or any spell, or any weapon, or any physical or emotional. It should be worse than any of that. You should be burning and the farthest hell beyond anything that we know of. I should kill you right now, but something's preventing me from doing it. Even though this, this, this can't be real to me, but there's still something that tells me that I should right here and right now. I can't be this person if I am. If I was this person, they all should have been dead. If I was this person, I wouldn't be happy. It's a means to an end. It's an end to a story that shouldn't happen. It's an end that never should have existed. I drop the sword. I can't. You hear a whisper coming from behind your ear. Then you're weak. No. You feel a sharp. You feel a sharp pain in your. You feel a sharp pain in your chest. You think I'm weak? I have more strength in me than you can ever possibly realize. I will never give in to this. I can't. I. You wake up in a cold sweat. Uh, I, I, sorry, Jacob, but everything all right, buddy? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He gets up and quickly looks around. <laughs> Cross? Everything okay? I looked down at my hand briefly. I'll never be that. <laughs> all right, all right, who was it this? All right, who was it this time? Come down, buddy. No, it's... <sighs> just tell us what happened. Pause and look over at Owen. Then I just look away, because I already know the answer. I wish I could say that was the worst of them. <laughs> Every single morning, it's the same thing with this. This is... <sighs> I'll be fine. I just... I'm struggling. Get out of bed. I'll be fine. If I can handle one, I can handle them all, right? Look, look. look. Cross. It doesn't help to... It doesn't hurt to ask for help. Yeah. We're all a team here. If you, if something's bothering you, we can help you solve it. Just, are we? Yes. Are we really that much of a team? Yes. Look, just look. I, believe we I am here, sweetie. I am just listening very intently. This is. Again, you usually have peanut gallery at this point. Yeah, I, I do have peanut gallery at this point. This is. <laughs> this is a lot to take in all at once. I admit, I wasn't expecting half of what came up here. Look, Cross, that's because... Look, remember the conversation I had with you about the Sonic Brigade? Just because I was the most creative didn't doesn't make me any more important than the guy who can hit really hard, the weapons crafter, the tinkerer, or the guy who can work his way around most terrains with ease. Like, yeah. you're one of two people who are able to fight at a distance exceptionally well. Yeah! Like, like, and each one, like each one of us, when we're in... When we're basically in the... Uh, basically in the zone... Uh, in the zone, fine. We all have, uh, we all have a task. Like Owen, I mean, he's still sleeping. Like first thing, first thing he does, cast prayer. Ivan, first thing you do, cast, uh, cast song, uh, play song of courage. That way, we're all buffed up. Um, th uh, Faye, the first thing, first thing she would do, either cast magic missile or cast, um, was it, uh, the despair, oh, a crushing, dis crushing despair. Crushing despair. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Crushing, uh, crushing despair on uh, the opponent to give us a better, better chance. Like, I should have ended all of you. What? I should never have let you suffer like that. But... No, it's. <laughs> I should have killed you all. Like I killed them. Cross, sit, sit down. I, I take a small step back. Like, Cross, what are you talking about? You're not telling us everything, are you? No one should have to suffer like that again. Cross, calm down. Come on. We'll be fine. Just take a deep breath. Here, sit on the sit on the bed. Take a deep breath. Just calm down, okay? You were all suffering. It was my fault. Is this about what happened in the dream? That was more than just a dream. It was what I wanted. What? Now you should have lived to have seen the end of that. I should be the only one. I should be the only one that has to burn in that. I should be. Uh, Ivan, I suggest you play the song of the sun. I was actually going to, yeah. Do, do I need to do I need to roll for that? Just yeah. 
Yeah. Alright, uh, roll a uh, performance check. <laughs> that is my favorite song after all. Why are you fucking <laughs> sleepy? Oh yeah, I'm still sleeping. <laughs> We're sleeping and on the other side of the bloody ho of the bloody inn. I, I I love the fact that I'm snoring very loudly and this is not the Sturby Fay. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> That's pretty good. No. That's assuming that face is asleep. Oh, there's Jimmy. I was like, where, where the heck? Uh, it helps me out. They deserve to know the truth. They, they can't, they can't do this anymore. You want to discuss it at breakfast? Yeah. Talk to us, buddy. We want to know. There's nothing you can't tell us that will make us think any less of you. I should have never wanted to die. Is this about what happened to your company? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Come here. It should have been me. I, I go over there and hug Cross. Bring it in, buddy. Oh, and please come in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm you're... just standing here folding my arms, thank you. Oh, and it would help Cross. Come on, you need a little emotional support. Come on. It should have been me. It should have been me. <laughs> okay, I do have something to say here. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I intentionally let my guard down in regards to Cross last night. Sweet I had dreams! Oh. <laughs> I had informed them between sessions that that was what Owen was going to do. Mm -hmm. And this is what had turned out. Yeah, you I didn't try to sell that devils. comment. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that, and I'm like, oh, what is this? Oh, there well, it is. Well, how do you feel? How do you feel about that now? The fact <laughs> that it turned out quite like that, it, it is, it, it's impressive. I, I will admit. <laughs> oh, Josh, Josh took full advantage of that. That was. Oh gosh, I love you guys. Okay. <laughs> Okay, anyway, back, okay, in-game mode. Back on track, back on track. Okay, back, back to the game. So, yes, this, this is Owen actually, uh... Feeling guilty? No, not feeling guilty. <laughs> it's more that like Owen would have been watching from a distance as to what was happening in the dream and waiting to see whether Cross would have been asking for help, which he didn't. So, did he even? Point, he didn't even attempt a will save, did he? No, Cross no. didn't even attempt to wake up from the dream. Cross just let things so. play out, and Cross <laughs> didn't attempt to ask for help either. So, Owen is still standing there, arms folded, <laughs> and he's wondering if Cross has actually learned anything other than "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." It's more that he still won't ask for help. On that note. Light creaks through the light creaks through the windows. It is now dawn. Cross everything. Like, let's discuss this over. Uh, let's we'll discuss this over breakfast. Like, clear head, hot tea. Yeah, take 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 a rest. Relax for a little uh, bit. Actually, now that I think about it, heroes feast would be. I, I looked at I looked at uh, I looked at Owen. Heroes feast, please. I heard food. What? Ow! Ow! Uh, head. I, okay, head. so so you act. You notice that you actually woke up on the floor. Oh! I looked, I'm looking down at her. So, have we learned anything? Not so loud. Aww. Oh, uh, DM question. Uh, for those who were kind of damaged in the first battle, are we all healed up? Yes. Okay, thank but, you. But yes. But, uh, you sit, uh, Rose, you see Jaminia standing in the middle of the road and she's, uh, she's putting her hand up. And she's putting her hand up. Mm -hmm. Okay, I assume she wishes me to be still in silence, so. Then she, then she walks into the room, and she motions for you to follow her. Doing so. If I can fit, has can you scooch over a bit? <laughs> is everyone sober? <laughs> Shut up, needs some water. This is why I stick to drinking nectars and juice. I, I ordered, I ordered I, water I, when I was at the bar. I needed something stiff, okay? I've had a rough few days. Uh, I'm sure have... I speak for everybody, but I've had my own personal trouble and I don't want to talk about it. Alright. Well, there's something that uh, there's something that I do want to talk uh, about. Um, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's something serious and something a little frivolous. 
I've been thinking about this for a while, and it needs to be said. We're all in agreement that Simula is not keeping the child, right? What? I thought that was obvious. You honestly think she'd care about a child? You mean that she wouldn't take care of it? Yes. I don't like the idea of taking a child away from her own mother. However, I don't need to say that Simula would either be abusive or would use the child for her own ends. Very well. Yes. I don't like it, but that's the, si uh, that's the situation as I see it. We can also not put up the child for adoption. He or she would not only be taken advantage of with the royal blood, but they would also be a tiefling. They would be targeted. I so, I've been thinking. More than so, in all of this, I think it's probably best that we keep the child with us. Very well. How can and we possibly tell? I have a. It's. I. It's a, as soon as we, as soon as we, get get me back on my throne, I can, I can use personal funds. I. It's like technically they would technically they would be family. However, there is one thing. It's embarrassing to think about, but given the circumstances and what I just said, we this should be done sooner rather than later. Hmm? What do you mean? We should probably think of baby names. <coughs> oh. oh I immediately raised my head up. Uh, could I be a godmother? I mean, if we are if we are going to take the child, it's might as well start thinking about names at this point. And come on, it's, it's we're, think, we're thinking about baby names. It, it's fun, right? You know, <laughs> haven't had girl talk in a while. I girl like talk? Drake. Uh, I'm listen, sorry. Is it your listen, time? Please. I, I'm confused. What is it your time of the month or something? What, what's girl talk? Oh, it's I'm what sorry. We're doing um, right now. <clears throat> it's. It's uh, it's kind of, it's a thing in humanoid culture where if where girls come together, talk about men, talk about talk about love, talk about mm -hmm. children and futures, and typically men are not present for such things. <laughs> Why not? I would think they'd have a say in it. It's complicated. It's Simply put, sometimes females wish comp the company of other females. It would be... It's as if females selecting a mate, almost, I suppose, would be a, an, a comparison. That is certainly not a topic I am interested in discussing. I'm simply <laughs> trying to make it clear. Well, we, well we're not... Well, it's, it's similar yet different, but... So, um, any suggestions for baby names? I like Draco for a boy. Um, that's like naming a dog dog, isn't it? Like, no. Mm. Sorry, my head hurts. I'm not thinking clear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a heavy thing to put on you all in the morning, but it, mm. it's just I, I've had a lot of time to think about this. I hand a flask to Amber. Ooh, chugs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh. What about Ooh, the name uh, Duvain? Duvain name means Duvain. It means beautiful darkness in elf in Elvish. Oh, that's Ooh. nice. That's a pretty name. After, I suppose. Why? You're in the other but room. At this point, but at I this point we don't know what. At this point, we don't know if the child is a male or female. Duvain is a gender-neutral name. We also don't know how many is in the litter. Litter. Mm. Oh. Uh, Oh, does your kind do, do tieflings have are capable of having more than one? Oh, honey, she, she's a twin. So she, raises, she raises her hand and and just kind of lowers it, but I I don't know. Well, you yourself and your sister are twins, at the very least. Of the litters we know about, we know the average size is two. I mean, dragons well, can yes. have multiple eggs. Yes, it's just, but I'm not sure if we're the exception or the rule. Exactly. I prefer Which to is why we can make no assumption as to the number we can be expecting here. Oh, mercy. Well, well I, do, I do love your idea, Fanthurin, but I do have suggestions of my own. I was thinking of Viren if it's a boy and Hana if it's a girl. What do Aww. they mean? Yeah, what do they mean? Viren, Viren means hero. 
and Hana means mercy. Very mm. symbolic. Mm-hmm. Very ironic. Symbolic and I ironic. Choose, I choose to believe symbolic. Hmm. Any other suggestions? Yeah. I suppose Ivan is a good ring to it. Hello. <laughs> <coughs> uh, oh, so, so, sorry, something I, I, I said? I think you should say that for your children. But, but, I, no, uh, the, <laughs> I mean, the girl could easily be be named uh, Faye Third too. That's a pretty name. Just uh, say. Uh, the rally conversation. <coughs> Coughing. I don't. Oh, having children. What? <sighs> what? It's a natural. What? It's a very natural thing, Rose. Yeah, it's a very natural thing that I'm not a fan of for myself. Anyway, I have no intention of increasing the humanoid population on the planet. Uh, I'm still young. That's fair. Not sure if I'm ready for hatchery the... yet. <laughs> well, but that well, it listen well listen, Rose. It's you're you, and you act like you. Could you not have a child that does the same things as you? Ooh. I would not trust it. I don't trust myself. <clears throat> Let alone mixing blood with another. No, thank you. I tilt my head at Rose. I understand the concept. Shiloh himself is a father. It's just not for me. <laughs> Well, I do hope that whoever the child is, who, and whatever we decide to name, and however they decide to act, whatever the hopes, loves, fears, and dreams are, I hope we can set them on the right path. I know my mother <laughs> wishes nothing more than that for me. If I can help, and a I child. do want, and, I, and to be honest, I kind of do want all of you involved. Involved? Even me? Well, yes. I've grown to admire so many things out of all of you, and the thing is, is that this is kind of embarrassing to say, but at this point, you're all like family to me. Aww! And I pulled Jim into a hug. <laughs> yes, and and if you continue, if you continue to let me be sappy, it's I do want the family to be present in the child's life. I'd be happy to. I'm so honored. <laughs> I need time to process this. I understand. I understand. It's it's very early in the morning, and this is kind of a big load to drop on you. But it's something I did want to say. Now, uh, how about we? How about how about we go to dinner? Uh, everyone who is okay. Everyone <laughs> who is in the in the males room, roll listen checks. Listen checks. Yep, got it. Yeah. Girlish giggling, I assume. <laughs> it's like, it's like to, see, to see if they heard anything through the wall. Uh, if they were, if they were listening in. Nope. Oh, God, 26 on Ivan. Uh, Owen. Give me a moment, I'm looking it up. <laughs> I don't have that good of a listen check. Right. Did better than me. Oh, you didn't do too bad. Did better than Jal. Yeah. It's like, all of it's, uh, most of you caught the gist of what they were talking about. Mm. And that yes, it's a, I haven't heard most of it, and yeah, it's so. What do you all think? It's like I put my ear to the wall. Like. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's you're... like you're, you're you're a lot of you heard mumbling, but yeah, a lot of you got caught what they were talking about. Guys, we're gonna be a family. Aren't we all ready? <laughs> Aww. Well, we didn't think we'd be ready for teamwork, but we are now. <laughs> Uh, fam family oh, look together, fight together. <laughs> both of you, I swear, both of you are like children, but I can't help but find that amusing. You both remind me of my previous team members. <laughs> you especially, Jalrum. Really? Which one do I remind you of? <laughs> Silly. He was, uh, he was the big one. Serenity. He... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you remind me of the wife? <laughs> no. Silly. Sylvie was the big guy. He was, uh... <laughs> he didn't say much, but when he did, it was, uh... It was something. He was always the most enthusiastic about it. Never quite could realize when a girl liked him, though. And he had a wink <laughs> set. Jalrum. What about like, me? Seriously, you two. It's as, it's as clear as day with both of you. Oh, with me and Faye? Mm-hmm. No, I was mostly looking at Ivan on that. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so who do I remind you of? Uh, it's smooth. Smooth. <laughs> I saw that. Uh, hmm. Lathara, actually. Lathara was a very bright soul. Could never get him down. Even if, even if it was a rainy day, he would, he would never be upset. He would always find the positives in something, no matter what. Well, if I say something, uh, Je- uh, Ivan, you actually remind me a lot of Waltham. Oh. Yes, was... the, uh, always eager to help, the, uh, he was, he was the comrade, everyone's friend. <laughs> Aw, thanks, guys. That's kind of how Darakis was. Uh, and, uh, you actually, I know, I'm not, not, not because you're a shifter, but you actually remind me a lot of Sylvester, uh, Cross. First guy I ever, oh. I ever met, always one, the, always the first one to help out in the fight. Help, me out, help out in a bad situation. Well, I don't know well, about you, but I'm hungry. I'll be <laughs> honest, I've never, actually that... had a, never actually had a party before. Huh. It's mostly just been me by myself. I'm a, I'm a roaming gnome. So, it well, feels like a roaming gnome. Na- 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 all right, <laughs> all right, so, you all, head to, you all head down for breakfast, eat your meals, and you all head back into the council room. Ooh. Alrighty. Whee! Off to Lapita. Yeah.